Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again it is time for my client Saif's vlog. And uh, we had a pretty good week overall. As we said last time, he wanted to go over to a three-day squat bench deadlift, uh, mainly because, again, he gets some overuse issues in the upper body. It's a very physically demanding job. And uh, so benching was a little hard because we're still dealing with some bicep recovery. Uh, again, he can only handle so much workload on things like rowing. Uh, we're working on that of combining it with his job and everything went great but benching and even then it wasn't terrible we got two reps at 95 percent training max all right we got two reps which you know overall honestly isn't bad other than his bench and everything just been climbing for months uh, but squat and deadlift went phenomenally well all right they went phenomenally well uh, because he left reps in reserve on those and he's ordered some more equipment we're going to be able to do seal rows starting next block uh, so again, we've got, a, we've got a lot of stuff to work with, just like the hyperextension bench he's got, fantastic. So because of the, the rowing has been a little bit of an issue, we're doing uh, lat pull downs. Right? He's able to do lat pull downs right now with this narrow grip, and this is what we're doing for his back. You know, for this week while everything's recovering, uh, and his, his physical therapist has gone over some stuff in the arm, and a lot of it's related to overuse from his work while trying to do rows. We have to be very, very careful with the total volume. But his, uh, his bench press day, we do benching. We do five sets of 10 on the bench. He does today's lat pull downs instead of uh, dumbbell rows. And then we do high rep band press downs, which again, something I'm a big fan of, along with plate front raises. So again, continuing to build the shoulders. Because he has historically done a close grip benching, we need to build delts, triceps, lats, right? That's what really brings up a close grip bench if we're going to uh, bench closer grip. And he does just fine with a close grip. He did all his overhead press and close. He has massive triceps. And uh, so yeah, that's gonna be the game plan. Just keep building it up. And again, all the rowing will help as we're able to do it. But uh, again, triceps. All we do for his arms at this point is, is band work. Right, we do his big multi-joint exercises and we do band work for arms. And yes, I call them multi-joint. I always kick that, and you know, it's one of my pet peeves, by the way. People will say, well, Blaha promotes big compounds. No, I don't. There's no such thing as a compound exercise or an isolation. Single joint and multi-joint. You don't see me using that other word. All right, safety bar, squat. 95% training max with the new training max, he got five reps. We got five reps, which means it's time to bump that up. And that's working off 175 kilo training max. It's almost four plates. Uh, but with this, we know we're well past it. It means next block, we're going to have to bring that training max uh, up quite a bit. We're going to have to bring it up quite a bit uh, because it's not really close. It's not really close anymore, is it? So very very happy with that and again on his squat day and people I think are surprised at what our volumes look like but again physically demanding job okay he does GPP all day every day his maintenance calories are over 4,000 which is why when we were cutting earlier it was easy he's kind of just maintained weight for a little while and he's actually recomping successfully and people say don't you say most people can't do that well he's at a higher body fat he can he can recomp Right, he can recomp, especially given his protein intakes and food intakes uh, and just tons of GPP. It's a different animal. It's a completely different animal than some of these skinny kids thinking they're going to recomp on 2,500 calories. Okay, totally different beast. Uh, and of course, we do his 5 by 10 with the, the buffalo bar for back off work. Uh, or as we would call it, assistance work would really be the correct term. Because uh, it's not back off, is it? It's not assistance work then the accessory would be these belt squats right this is our squat accessory for him and that's that's really all that we do we just program appropriate volumes on these things but we're still up in that optimal range and people have to remember that you look at it and go well, wait a minute what are we doing uh, we ramp to a heavy set of squats 5 by 10 buffalo bar squats 5 by 10 belt squats uh, we're up in that 11 to 13, depending on how you want to count the ramp-up sets of squat work. 
That's how many sets we're doing. Same with kind of this benching, right? We we'll argue only doing about six quality sets of bench, okay? True, but then we do the plate front raises, band press downs, all that stuff, uh, all the lat work. And then come over to deadlifts. Did 181 ki kilos, which is four plates for five reps. Again, the deadlift is coming along. Keeping in mind, look where his deadlifts and stuff were when we started. Look where they were. Now we're already here. And he left reps in the tank. If you watch this, this wasn't a failure. Right? He left at least a rep or two in reserve. He can pull five plates. He can pull five plates right now. And it's going to keep going up. He's an intermediate, and people, because you know, they look at his size, they don't realize, oh, they think this guy's been training for five years or something. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. He's trained less than two years and with lots of entire months off due to injuries because before I got him, he was hurting himself all the time. Hey, it's the rest of our deadlift day looking like. We do five sets of ten on the back off work. And then, of course, he does, uh, after that, we do hypers, 45-degree hyper extensions. He's doing them weighted, uh, and he's getting stronger and stronger. So the same thing, you know, we do a peak set of deadlifts, 5 by 10 back off. We do 5 by 10 45-degree hypers. And then he's doing some band curls, right, just to keep those tendons healthy to work on that area, get blood flow to it. Uh, stuff that we need to do. So we'll have that in here. But yeah, back off deadlifts. Lots of volume there. And the hyperextension seemed to be helping a lot. He's noticed his low back is getting stronger and stronger from those, which is what we need. We need to build that area. And it gives us the extra posterior chain development we need to do this. So really, you know, outside of just lots of squatting and deadlifting with the bars that he has, we really are only doing belt squats and hyper extensions. And for him, that's enough. As long as we keep the total volume in check, uh, we keep the food high, we deload frequently. You know, and, and he likes this type of training. He doesn't want to go over to conjugate. He likes this, so this is what we're going to run. That's what we're going to run. He's worried about hurting himself, hitting training maxes all the time. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Because, again, he, he's his own, what he knows his own ego with all of it. But, very productive week, and I feel like he should be fully recovered as that bicep completely heals up those bicep tendons. Uh, we should be in a very good place next training block to get that bench up also. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I'll talk to you guys next time.